All right, guys. So today's journey brought us to Bang San Beach, the nearest beach to Bangkok. So it's a Saturday, and I wanted to come and see what the Thais are up to. This is a like a huge place for the Thai people to come. It's close to Bangkok, it's out of the city, and so the Thais come here and they can play in the water, they can eat, and it is an absolute zoo. So the parking is just as chaotic as it is in Bangkok. They have guys that uh, all they do is all day is they just push cars forward and back and they make room for everybody to park. So when you park out here, you got to uh, leave your car in neutral and they just move your car around all day long so everybody can shoehorn in here. And as you know, normal in Thailand, you got to uh, got to sit on the beach, have some fresh seafood and enjoy the day. So they have a nice walk on the beach. You can come here, do a little bit of sightseeing. And of course they have all the normal beach chairs and as much fresh seafood as you can handle. So the beach itself is not the best beach or the most like wow amazing you know white sand beach in the whole world but it is really ridiculously close to Bangkok. I mean, it's about 70 kilometers out of Bangkok, just past Chonburi. So it's convenient for the city people to get out and come. So the water's nice enough. It's uh, like the beach is not the cleanest beach you're gonna ever find. I mean, but they do kind of, you know, rake up most of the garbage. There is still some like bottle caps and stuff that you'll see at the high water mark, but generally it's it's fair. The water's nice. It's uh, it's pleasantly warm, so better than sitting in the in the city for sure. So as you can see, the kids are having a blast here. So everybody can sit up underneath the awnings, let the kids run around. Just spend a nice day. You can rent the jet skis or get on the banana boats. And as you, I don't know if you guys can see, but on the horizon over there, that's getting down towards Katia. Like I said, this is definitely not like, if you want peace and tranquility, this is one of the busiest beaches you'll ever see. Like I was saying, you, you will see some trash on this beach, as per normal in Thailand. But they do a better job than a lot. Like if anybody has watched my uh, Chao Lao Beach, that's over by uh, Kochang. That beach has quite a bit more rubbish on it than what they have here but the better part about that beach is it was really quiet 
And then if you go to some of the islands like Kochang or go down to the south to Phuket or to Krabi, the beaches there will be much, much cleaner. The water also is much nicer. It's a, just a real nice blue. So this is what the beach actually looks like without all the little restaurants. Along the little beach walk or the little boardwalk area, they have snacks and swimsuits and everything else, the whole length of this beach. So here they're roasting, roasting some of the little rice. They'll have uh, some bananas or whatever else. And they also cook it in these little pieces of bamboo. And then you crack the bamboo open and eat it. and the snails and the shells and the big horseshoe crab. And they have a whole industry. There'll be guys that deliver all the food to these vendors. They have the people that deliver the charcoal. So these guys set up during the day if they run out of food or charcoal or whatever. There will be a delivery service, a couple guys in a truck will bring it right to them. This just goes on and on and on. It's really cool. Kind of a fun little day to come over here. It's near enough to Bangkok, you can make it a day trip, load up the family, and come to the beach. So we're gonna get some of the chicken. If you uh, get some chicken from this guy, you can get a free mat to sit on, which is a good deal. The beach chairs are... Uh, Fifty baht a head. So they set us up on the little beach mat here, and then other people brought menus to sell you some. Uh, so have a nice little beach restaurant here, sitting on the mat. We ordered some chicken with some sticky rice, and then uh, while we sat down, everybody brought over menus, wanting you to buy some more stuff. Does seafood or sell you drinks or whatever, and then of course the lady tried to sell some beads and some other little knickknacks. So the normal fare that you get on the beach. All right, so we got some fried chicken with some sticky rice. So that was seven dollars, and then it was two dollars for the Pepsi and the ice. You gotta have the ice in Thailand, otherwise your Pepsi is about lava temperature in about ten minutes. So we're gonna eat this, and then we're gonna walk around some more. So the shrine right here in the middle of the beach. They have all the chickens. Chickens all around it. Now there was a Thai king that liked the fighting chickens. And I'm not sure if this is his statue, but there was one king that really liked to have the fighting chickens. So it became kind of a tradition to put the little chickens around some of the shrines. All right, so just to the east of the main part of Bangsan Beach, there's about a mile of, maybe two miles of like food stalls set up out next to the, the water. And then if you keep on going past that, they have a nice beach walk. A little boardwalk or beach walk, whatever you want to call it. I came here about a year ago and they were building this, so this is all really new. So they put a sign out here saying Bangsan Beach. Bangsan Lang. Here's the beach. 
beach. We're just set up out here with some umbrellas. Looks like the beach walk's already coming apart. Where they put the faux wood. The other part's real nice. Some nice stones. And benches to sit and relax. The beach is quite nice here. It's like everybody's out enjoying. Alright, so you can walk along the little beachfront for about a kilometer or so. And the whole way there's food all along and then they have like little coffee shops and restaurants just across the little soy. And when you get to the end of the, the beach walk, they have another little beach with some fishing boats and stuff tied up next to a pier. So you have all the fishing boats out here. And then a little pier with a small little beach. It's not really a usable beach, but it's still kind of a nice little place. And then some more food and everything over there. All right, guys, hope you liked our little day trip over here to Bangsan Beach. It was pretty nice. We got to see the main part of the beach, saw a little bit of the walkway, had some food, and we walked all the way down here to the little pier. So anyway, guys, if you liked the video, make sure you give me a like. And if you're not subscribed already, subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. And if you want to know something about it or if you've been here, leave me a comment down below. If you want me to see something else, tell me also and I'll go see if I can make a video of it. And as always, guys, remember, life is a journey. So enjoy. Enjoy.